Hello everybody, welcome to my studio. In this video, I'm going to review for you a beautiful Daniel Smith watercolor pigment called Moon Glow. In this video, I want to show you the qualities of Daniel Smith's Moon Glow watercolor paint. You can see here I have swatched out this color from a dark pigment all the way down to a really washed out light version of the color. You can see I've provided here the three pigment. This is a blend of three pigments. It's a PG-18, which is actually Viridian, that's a green pigment, PB-29, which is actually ultramarine blue, and PR-177, a red color can never really say this color. PR177 is anthraquinoid red. Those three pigments make up Daniel Smith Moon Glow. And if you look really closely here into this swatch of, of paint, you can see the three colors in some places. Because it's a highly granulating color, you can see where some of the colors have really settled down into the texture of the paper and you can actually see that especially the viridian the green where it's really settled into the uh, lower uh, places or deeper parts of the paper and have granulated out and in some places here you can see the red uh, high, being highlighted so again it's a mixture of a green a blue and a red creating a neutral color a purpley uh, gray, kind of a Payne's gray combined with violet. And it is just a gorgeous color. Daniel Smith Moon Glow. All right, I'm going to go ahead and swatch out my Daniel Smith Moon Glow color here across the top so we can see the full gradation of color that can be achieved with this paint. Uh, we'll see as it dries out again that you'll get a nice, um, oh, different uh, violet colors, um, oh, reds, even greens. Because again, this is a mix, this is a three blend pigment. It has a blue, ultramarine blue, a green, a viridian, and it has a red in it. And it's a highly granulating color, so as we, even as we already see it start to settle into the paper, you see these different pigments and colors begin to emerge and pull out. I see little green and red and all of that. It's just a really fascinating color. All right, I'm going to go ahead, and the purpose of this video is to show you how Moon Glow interacts with other colors. And so I've chosen some of my favorite colors on my palette that I like to mix with Moon Glow. And um, so I'm just, in each of these cases, I'm going to put down a uh, bit of the Moon Glow at the top and then come back with my other color. My first one I want to mix with here is my Thalo Green. And um, we'll see that there, those two colors side by side. And as I bring them up and just begin to let them blend into and charge one color into another. We're going to see those colors uh, blend, blend together. When you put that together with the phthalo green, we see uh, deeper shades of, of a blue, um, almost an indigo color begins to emerge here as those two come together. Next color I want to mix with the thalo, uh, sorry, with the Moon Glow uh, is Thalo Turquoise. So this is the Thalo Turquoise here, and again, uh, we can see those two separate colors, and as we begin to allow those to mix together there in between, The next blend that I want to do is between 
my moon glow here. I'm trying to get a nice thick application of the moon glow here at the top of each of these swatch panels. I'm going to mix that with Thalo Blue Green Shade. Okay, there's my phthalo blue. And let's just allow these two to mix, blend together there in the center. Moon Glow is a highly granulating color. And you can really see that here in a lot of these mixes and blends that uh, there's a lot of settling of the grains into the texture of the paper. It's really pretty. Next blend, I'm going to go into my reds now. I've done some blues and greens. Um, I want to now take my Moon Glow here and mix this with my Permanent Alizarin Crimson, so, uh, a red that I like to use a lot. So we see that there. Let's just let these come together and blend here in the center. See what we get. In this process of blending, you almost have to sit back and just let it and take its time uh, as the paper, as the pigment settles into the paper and as it begins to dry, you're going to see the real full blending of those colors. So that was permanent alizarin crimson. Now let's go to my next blend is going to be with phthalo yellow green, which is a real, real vibrant, bright. Um, green, um, maybe not a color I use a lot on its own. Uh, as you can see here, it's almost a fluorescent, I guess, green, but I, thought, I found it was an interesting mix here. Look how that just flows uh, one color into the other there. It's kind of an interesting mix of colors. That's the phthalo gr yellow green. Next, I want to start getting into some more earth tones. So this uh, next blend, I'm going to take my Moon Glow here and mix this with Nickel Quinacridone Gold. Again, this is a color I, I just love, um, use a lot, and I like how it mixes. So you can see that color on its own. And wow, that is a color that just charges into other colors. It does that with almost every color I use it with. Take that nickel, quinacrid, and gold and put it up against another color and it just whoo, charges into the other color in a beautiful way. And I just love that. Gorgeous. Next one, quinacridone burnt orange. So let's put down our moon glow again. And again, I'm trying to put a nice heavy application of that up here. And uh, there's that. Now let's go quinacridone burnt orange. This is um, a color that's similar to burnt sienna. Uh, I kind of prefer it to burnt sienna, however. So we see it's a, you know, a nice earth tone orange. And um, doesn't tend to charge into the other colors quite the same as that nickel quinacridone and gold. But it really creates some really beautiful um, neutral colors in there when you see that combination. And last but not least, I'm going to combine Moon Glow with Burnt Umber. Alrighty, let's grab now the Burnt Umber. Get a real Typical earth tone color we see here. And uh, let's go ahead and let these. Really, I think that nice combination could really be used nicely in um, landscapes. Again, Daniel Smith on their website does say that Moon Glow works really well in shadows, uh, you know, twilight type scenes and things like that. Uh, it's just gorgeous as it mixes together with these various colors off my palette. And I thought you might enjoy seeing how this color interacts with other colors. 
going to come back in a few minutes and see what this looks like once these all dry. Okay, here's the final set of swatches for Moon Glow combined with these eight different colors from my palette. You can see the granulating nature of Moon Glow and you can see how it blends with these other colors, creating some really beautiful neutrals and uh, blended uh, hues with blues, reds, some of the earth tones. I just love Moon Glow. I love the way it mixes with other colors. I love the way it looks. Uh, in my paintings, and so I highly recommend it to you. If you are interested in Moon Glow and adding it to your palette, look for in the description below. I'll put a link to Moon Glow and where you can purchase it. If you like this video and found it helpful, please consider subscribing to my channel. Hit the notification bell so the next time I put out a video, you will be notified. Thanks and have a great day.